Sandwiches are the same, just different. No arms watching us. Step inside, or we isolate a little from the world outside. It goes on. Welcome back to another episode of The Chicken Garden with Jonathan and Ashley. It's day 153. Oh, I had a big booger on my face. Let's oh, do that geez. again. Jeez, where did that come from? Okay, we're ready. You're not coming up at the same time as I am. That was weird. You went faster than me. I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're taking a little bit of a break from plaster because we have a few issues that we need to work out. We're questioning everything. The outside of this wall looks really great. The inside, when it dried a little, did have some cracking. Yeah. Hairline. But when you also tap around the crack, it sounded hollow. Mm. So we took a knife and kind of dug in there to see what was going on and still not sure what's going on honestly i i think that where it sounds hollow is where the bat two bags meet maybe like where we filled in that crack the what do we call it the chinking chinking the chinking so i don't know if this is going to be a problem what i did yesterday is i came back after i mean this was several days after we applied this mm -hmm. i wet a sponge really hard compressed and rubbed some, pl some of that final plaster around the crack and it looks really good. Yeah, so, and we did this on the, <clears throat> the Shelter Logic back walls too because we did see some hairline cracks and while it was still drying, we took that sponge and you can go over in that and it will take that material and fill in those cracks. Um, so it's cool that you can even do that a few days after the fact. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know, yeah, like, because we still haven't been able to waterproof, sorry, wrong side. I still haven't been able to waterproof this because it hasn't stayed dry long enough. We just right. keep getting rain. Which is good. Yeah. Just not good for what we're doing. Anyway, so all I have to say, we're going to do some more plaster tests. But we're not doing that today because it just rained a ton last night. Everything's wet. It's probably going to rain today again. So, anyway, so what are we doing? Like, this today, is a really long way of saying we're not doing plaster. Hey, you want, want me to tell you what we're doing? Please. Today, we're going to be installing some of the wood frames that go on the outside of the circle. You may remember on the inside, we added a little bit of a frame, like a two by two on the top of the wooden frames. Because we didn't make our frames deep enough. And so there's this sort of cavity above each opening. Yeah and you can't plaster upside down. It just yeah. doesn't work. So adding that little bit of a ledge will allow us to bring the plaster down from the bag to right. the ledge of the frame. Yeah. So we're so. going to be getting as many of those done as we can. Some of the wood we have is too warped to use, so we may only get like three on. I think even if it's a little warped, I think we can make it work. We'll see. Some of it's real Because most of it's going to be plastered over anyway by the time you're done with it. So We'll try it. That's That's my vote as we just make it work we'll hey see. what else are we doing <laughs> also what else was we're it? prepping for a big oh. deal important part of yeah. this chicken garden also we've measured for where our water tank is going to go so we do need to level that ground and bring in pea gravel tamp that and get ready for the delivery of our water tank yeah because supposedly those are coming soon yeah and if if all goes well we may even be buying gutters this week. Oh man, how cool would that be if that we were so cool. with all these rains? We were actually able to catch our first rainwater catchment. Big deal. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> okay, so anyway, lots to do today. We're just gonna get started and see how far we can go. Okay. I feel like I say that every time. How can I, I say it different? I don't know. 
We got to we need to we need to go get that wood and go get our tools and start installing frames. Let's go. Okay. done all that we could we have a few left on the outside a couple on the inside so we're just gonna have to go get some more wood so i guess water tank okay water tank would you hold me if i told you we can just run away so come my darling let me help you we can follow the sun Leave the rain for somebody else that's help ourselves. Leave our troubles upon the shelf. And don't you worry, we're gonna find.
That's still high. You see that right there? It's Ashley. Do you guys have pea gravel that I could come pick up? Okay, perfect. I'll be there in a little. Is someone there to load it? Okay. We are headed to the gravel yard, our local favorite place to get all of our supplies Wilcox Rock and Sand. We're gonna go grab some pea gravel for the area that we just leveled out because um, at some point this week our water tank will be delivered and that way we are completely ready. We'll go ahead and tamp it down, get it level, and we're just gonna wait on that tank to get here. Alright, we're all loaded up, got a full load in the bed of the truck and I also went ahead and grabbed the five boards that we need to go ahead and rip down to two by twos to finish the frames on that outer wall. So hopefully we'll get those ripped down this week and installed soon. <laughs> We got the gravel laid, so now we're back to the garage. We're gonna go ahead and rip these two by fours in half with our circular saw, cause I don't have a table saw. I usually go down to the neighbors and he does it for me because he's got a nice table saw. It's a lot safer that way. But my dad is convinced that we can do this safely. So I'm here to learn. Safety glasses. Uh, I've got glasses. Those aren't safety glasses. You want me to be able to see? <laughs> Okay, so far we have installed the wood, the two by twos up on the outer circle this morning, the ones that we could do, ran out of wood. So we got those done. We dug down the water tank and applied the pea gravel and cut our two by 
fours down to two by twos. So now that's all that's left is we gotta burn them, scrape them, and seal them so that they're ready to go tomorrow morning. Take my mind and run with you. You shine so bright in your blue sweet shoes. I don't got no real estate and nobody knows my name. I could find a place and see. Of the day because I'm tired You've and dirty. Been busy. I got to go get a shower. Yeah. This is um, yeah, real dirty work. Yeah, it is. But they're ready to go tomorrow. We'll cut them and install them, and then we can work on pulling that plaster up to these frames. Yeah. Depending on the weather. We'll have to go back to our original plaster mix and yeah. not this the eight to one. We have to go back to the nine to one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought we shut down that, that I mean, part of the could production. Do, we could go ahead and do the H1, but and sift it. Anyway. Yeah, you want it rough. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, uh, so that's tomorrow. Yeah. I was going to say it was a weird day, but I think we've been yeah, over this. That yeah. All days are weird now. Yep. Um, And that's okay. Mm -hmm. So we got done what we could. What? And so what are we doing tomorrow? Not sure. No. Well, we got to cut and install those. Yeah. We already said that. We're going to cut and install and then do the plaster. Okay. That's what we said. But it depends on the weather. I don't know. If it's supposed to rain again, oh, sorry, I'm yeah. so sweaty and gross. <laughs> I really gotta get a shower. Okay, we're gonna wrap this are, up. Are you? Yeah. Okay. We're good. Okay, we're good. guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Nope. Why? We may not. Guys, we'll see you sometime. <laughs>